today's video I'll be showing you how I did my 3D metallic video here. Um, I have been doing a few metallic uh, manicures lately. It is one of my favorites right now. So I apologize for those who are tired of them, but um, for those who have not seen it, um, I will go ahead and show a demonstration today of how to do this. The products that I used are the LQN uh, UV LED Soak Off uh, Gel Polish number 43. This is a brand that I got off of uh, eBay. And while I usually try to always provide links for everyone, I could not find this listed anymore on eBay. So I'm not sure if he just isn't um, um, listing right now, if he doesn't have any more, or what the situation is. But let me shake this up and I'll show you exactly what this looks like. It comes across more as a gold color on camera, but this really has uh, an orange, uh, orangish tinge to it, almost like a really super bright copper. And that's why I chose it to go with the kind of um, plum, brownish based plum color here, the SE uh, Carry On. So this particular metallic went well with that. To paint the design, I used uh, First Gel's uh, gel paint in Royal Nude. These are fantastic gel paints uh, from Germany. If you get a chance to try them, you'll see what I mean. Uh, very pigmented. They are thick enough that they won't spread and um, gorgeous colors. So once again, that's first gel, gel paint. I used to paint the design my favorite uh, Crystal Nails Zero Long Brush. They also have a Zero Short Brush. So it just depends on, on what you would like to do. It's very, very fine, as you can see here. I mean, it, it basically tapers down to a single hair. So you can get some pretty exacting details. And as with most of the metallics, um, they do require a very, very smooth base. So I did go ahead and do a base coat of the Accents uh, Shine On No Wipe top coat as the base. So on my two uh, samples here, that's what I've already done. Applied the uh, top coat as my base, cured it, and now we're ready to go ahead with our design. One thing I did find with um, the um, LQN brand here, as opposed to the Crystal Nails, some of you may have seen me use, this actually looks best with one coat. And I don't know if you can see it on camera. When I did a second coat over this nail, it almost, it almost kind of, I don't know, gave it a textured look. Whereas one coat was super, super smooth uh, for the metallic finish. So I would suggest just using uh, the one coat of this particular metallic. If you're using, say, a Crystal Nails brand, um, then you can go ahead and do two coats. It's usually best with that brand to do two. So using our gel paint, you can use any color that you like, but um, I didn't want the underneath color in case some of the top coat would wear off with normal wear and tear. I didn't want it to be such an obvious color underneath, so, so that's why I kind of went with this nude color. And for the uh, two center accent nails, I simply did, I didn't go all around with the frame, just bring it down on the sides a little bit, not that far. All right, so once you get your pattern the way that you like it, go ahead and fully cure that. 
All right, once it's out of the lamp, we'll go ahead and remove the sticky layer. Make sure you don't have any fuzz or anything like that on there. We don't want that metallic showing any areas on here that we don't want. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and apply our metallic polish. Once again, go ahead and give that a good shake to get those metallic uh, particles suspended into the liquid. This particular polish, um, as with most of these UV Cure, they mostly air dry, but I believe that there is a UV component in there to help them adhere a little bit better um, when you actually put them in the lamp. So uh, paint a very thin layer, dip your brush in, wipe it, and then paint a thin layer. I find that this particular polish is a little bit more forgiving than the crystal nails as far as rebrushing over any particular areas that you may have missed. Uh, so um, that's nice in that respect. All right, as you can see, this is quite frosty in appearance, but we're gonna go ahead and let that air dry for the most part and then um, I'll pop it into the lamp for the recommended uh, 30 seconds and then we'll come back and top coat that. All right, so this is our first nail that we've allowed the polish to dry completely. And you can see how that has dried into a beautiful smooth uh, finish as opposed to staying frosty looking. Now we're ready to go ahead and put uh, a top coat. And again, with the metallics, it's best to use the no wipe top coat. Make sure to cap all the edges really nicely. And now you're ready to full that, uh, cure that fully. All right, for our next nail, uh, this is the this design here. I'm just going to simply paint some lines along the sides, drawing it up to a point near the top of the nail. And for any part of that line that you find is a little too thick, especially as you can see right there near the bottom, I'll just come in with a little detail brush, a little bit of alcohol, and thin that line out a little bit. And I wanted to try and keep the line as evenly or even as possible along the whole way. Once I got it where I liked it, then I went ahead and I cured that. We'll be right back. All 
All right, now we're going to go ahead and paint the other line on the other side. And once you get that where you like it, go ahead and cure that fully. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and finish the rest of our design. Alright, once you get the rest of your design on there, you're going to go ahead and cure that fully. Alright, once again, once that's out of the lamp, we'll go ahead and remove the sticky layer. Make sure all your little, make sure it's completely clear. And just as we did the other nail, we're going to go ahead and coat this with the metallic polish. Alright, once you get a good coat on there, just like the other nail, we're going to go ahead and let that air dry, then pop it into the lamp for 30 seconds, and then we'll come back and apply our uh, SE. So we're going to let that sit and be right it back. Has also dried, and now we're ready to apply the uh, SE. Now in this case I, I chose a regular lacquer simply because I didn't have any um, gel colors that I was really was really close to this. Uh, I know it looks brown but it's really a plum a brownish uh, plum uh, a plum color with a brown base and it's a gorgeous fall color and I thought it went nicely with this kind of orangey gold uh, color that we have here doesn't take much I'm just gonna do it right over just gonna follow the line that line that you made with your gel earlier is gonna be your guideline and just paint right across that line or right up to it just butt right up to it and get a good coating along the side. And once you get your polish complete, go ahead and let that completely dry. In this case, uh, since I did do a liberal coat on there to make sure I got a good coating on the nail, I actually let this sit for when I did my nails. Uh, I probably went a couple of hours before I actually went over it 
with the uh, no wipe top coat. So go ahead and uh, if you're working with regular lacquer, be sure that you do let that dry completely before you uh, put your um, top coat on it. So that's what I'll do and get two coats of the um, top coat again on that nail as well and then we'll be right back. All right, so we have our completed nails. Uh, once again, this is with the top coat applied and not too difficult. Uh, I know I always say that, but really it's just um, maybe the time invested in it, waiting for things to dry and that sort of thing. But otherwise, it's really not too hard to do. As always, I'll go ahead and provide uh, the links to all the products that I used uh, in the About section, uh, with the exception of the metallic because I can't find that listing anymore. And if anybody has any questions or comments for me, uh, you can leave them down at the bottom. I'll get to them as soon as I can. As always, uh, I do appreciate everybody's uh, support. I hope everybody has a nice and safe holiday. And until next time, I will see you guys later.